Hello folks, I'm Ryan Chan, the CEO and founder of Upkeep, and today we're going to take a deep dive into the world of SCADA systems, or as they're more formally known, supervisory control and data acquisition systems. If you've ever wondered about the power behind some of the world's biggest manufacturing companies, you're going to want to stick around. We're going to uncover how these computer control systems monitor and manage plant operations, making life easier for maintenance and operations teams. So let's get started. Supervisory control and data acquisition systems are computer control systems used to monitor and control plant processes. They utilize data communications, a graphical user interface, and extended management to keep an eye on systems. In the days before technology took over, industrial organizations and manufacturing facilities had teams of technicians manually controlling and checking on all their equipment to keep them running. This system was labor intensive and relied on paper records, push buttons, and analog dials. As companies grew, it became harder to rely on these non-automatic processes, especially over long distances. The first automation tools were timers and relays, which cut down on the number of trips technicians needed to make to remote locations. But these tools had their limitations. They weren't flexible enough and took up a lot of physical space. Around the 1950s, computers entered the scene, bringing new hope for industrial controls. One of the most significant developments was telemetry, which allowed off-site monitoring and data transmission. Supervisory control and data acquisition systems originated in the 1970s with the advent of microprocessors and programmable logic controllers, or PLCs. Today, the biggest manufacturing companies in the world are also the most data-driven. In an age of growing technological capabilities, the importance of collecting data is pushed to the limit with systems like supervisory control and data acquisition systems. Supervisory control and data acquisition systems collect and monitor real-time data, giving an overview of how each key piece of equipment in the plant is performing. Sensors on the equipment send signals through remote terminal units, or RTUs, and PLCs. This allows the supervisory control and data acquisition system to pinpoint anomalies in system functions based on the collected data, enabling the company to promptly take action on the issue. Supervisory control and data acquisition systems help maintenance personnel make more informed decisions. They're applicable to a wide variety of industries, including oil and gas, energy, and manufacturing. Basically, any corporation that benefits from accurate and timely data monitoring will benefit from supervisory control and data acquisition systems. Supervisory control and data acquisition systems have evolved over time. They were first implemented on huge mainframe computers functioning as standalone systems in a single location, known as monolithic systems. But a couple of decades later, supervisory control and data acquisition adapted to shrinking computer hardware, PC-based software, and local area networks. This allowed the systems to break free of their initial confines and join similar systems to share information and data more efficiently. Many of these systems were still proprietary and closed, known as distributed systems. By the turn of the millennium, supervisory control and data acquisition joined other computer systems in a more open environment, running on Ethernet, which allowed multiple systems, vendors, and partners to join the network and connect to the supervisory control and data acquisition system. Despite technological advancements, many industrial companies still use proprietary technology, making data transfer cumbersome. Some companies, however, have evolved to offer a supervisory control and data acquisition system of linked and connected devices. Historically, the challenge with supervisory control and data acquisition systems was finding an efficient communication network to connect the devices. Early technologies relied on proprietary systems to link the components. Meanwhile, information technologies have been emerging over the last few decades. The development of structured query language, or SQL, databases was significant in advancing data management. Modern supervisory control and data acquisition systems incorporate SQL capabilities, further linking to enterprise resource planning systems for smoother and more holistic operation. Market research analysts also state that the industrial control systems market, which includes supervisory control and data acquisition systems, is projected to reach $181.6 billion by 2024. The Industrial Internet of Things, 
cloud technology and evolving web technology will no doubt have an impact on future supervisory control and data acquisition systems. So how does supervisory control and data acquisition work? Think of it as a bridge that links equipment with operators and maintenance personnel. The supervisory control and data acquisition system requires some key components to facilitate this transmission of data from the physical equipment to the operator's display screen. This allows maintenance technicians to perform certain tasks or monitor asset behavior along the way. Some typical tasks include checking sensors and other devices that may be installed at remote substations or control stations, tracking machine system events for future reference, and changing the level or speed of production processes from a central spot. In essence, supervisory control and data acquisition. A systems allow technicians to stay in one spot, yet extend their virtual reach to many different assets, locations, and systems. The automation presented by supervisory control and data acquisition systems allows greater efficiency and better decision-making for the management team, leading to greater productivity, increased safety, and revenue generation. Let's talk about the key components of a supervisory control and data acquisition system. First, we have sensors and manual input. Digital or analog sensors serve as measuring tools that collect data from various parts of the plant. Sensors may range from simple binary options, such as an on or off signal, to more complex tools that measure flow rate, temperature, and pressure. In addition, technicians or operators at the remote or central location can manually input data into the system. Next, we have conversion units. Data collected by sensors is only useful if it can be converted into a form that is easily comprehensible. Remote terminal units, or RTUs, and programmable logic controllers, or PLCs, are the devices that can translate the collected data into usable information. Then we have the supervisory system. Data feeds that are converted by the RTUs and PLCs meet at a master unit known as the supervisory system, or the human machine interface, or HMI. This interface brings useful information to the maintenance team. At this point, one operator can have a complete picture of an entire process or system. The data is presented in an easily digestible format, and the employee can take control of certain pieces of equipment to make repairs or isolate failures. Finally, we have the communication network. All the supervisory control and data acquisition components are located throughout the plant and must be linked together by a communication network. Conventionally, telephone lines and circuits have served as this network with newer wireless options now available that use radio waves or cellular satellites. A wide variety of companies, organizations, and businesses can use supervisory control and data acquisition systems to improve efficiency, share quality data across departments, and better identify and address systems issues. Both private and public sector organizations can benefit from supervisory control and data acquisition systems, including small basic manufacturing plants to large multi-million dollar corporations. Companies within the oil and gas, power, water, and transportation industries often employ supervisory control and data acquisition systems, as well as businesses in energy, food, healthcare, and recycling. Supervisory control and data acquisition systems can be configured to do everything from managing the operations of freezer and refrigeration systems at a food distribution company to reducing downtime on a production line at a manufacturing plant. Supervisory control and data acquisition systems help businesses comply with health and safety regulations, meet government compliance requirements, boost efficiency, and save money. Since supervisory control and data acquisition systems provide flexible, scalable means to monitor what's happening throughout a complex production process, on a shop floor, or within remote substations, they can make a significant contribution to maintenance and reliability efforts. Reliability-Centered Maintenance, or RCM, is a maintenance strategy that boosts equipment and asset reliability to a top priority. The strategy is designed to optimize the maintenance system of an entire organization with the intent to improve efficiency and timely production. RCM typically focuses on identifying and prioritizing different failure modes. This focus helps in scheduling activities that will prevent major system failure. It's easy to see how supervisory control and data acquisition can go hand in hand with an RCM system as it provides a great deal of automated information and data on the performances of various assets and machinery in a plant. 
Supervisory control and data acquisition also allows human intervention early in the process, preventing the failures that an RCM strategy is designed to seek and identify. And for instance, supervisory control and data acquisition systems play an important role in automating electric distribution. In this industry, sensors can collect information from various points at each substation. Besides collecting data and sending alerts, when certain conditions signal an outage or potential for an outage, a well-programmed supervisory control and data acquisition system can automate certain repairs. Supervisory control and data acquisition systems also help in identifying failures on a production floor. Being able to identify potential failures before they occur is critical to maintaining a world-class level of uptime on any shop floor. In the IT sector, supervisory control and data acquisition systems help better control sensitive systems and monitor remote environments. Sensors can provide around-the-clock eyes on things like the temperature of servers or the humidity in rooms with sensitive IT equipment to avoid or minimize damage caused by environmental factors. In the world of alternative energy, supervisory control and data acquisition systems play a critical role in modern wind farms. The supervisory control and data acquisition system brings each piece of turbine equipment together with substations and weather monitoring equipment. Supervisory control and data acquisition systems can even track all activity on a wind farm within a 10-minute window, which gives the human operator near real-time activity tracking. In conclusion, supervisory control and data acquisition systems, together with developments in IT technologies, are becoming an integral part of plant systems. They use industrial Internet of Things technology, such as sophisticated and simple sensors, to collect a wealth of data from key components and processes throughout an organization, regardless of geographical location. Supervisory control and data acquisition systems can work together with RCM and maintenance strategies that focus on predictive maintenance. They provide the data and technology to allow a great deal of automation and data collection, which means that problems and failures can be spotted at a point before they cause major equipment damage, shut down an entire production line, cause a serious accident, or result in an environmental catastrophe. As technology continues to develop into the future, the potential for supervisory control and data acquisition systems and related processes is great in helping companies increase revenue and safety. Thank you for watching this deep dive into supervisory control and data acquisition systems. We've covered how these systems monitor and manage plant operations, their evolution over time, their key components, and their role in various industries. Remember, Supervisory control and data acquisition systems can be a game changer for companies that benefit from accurate and timely data monitoring. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel for more informative content. For further details and resources, visit our website at upkeep.com. We look forward to seeing you in our next video.